I'd like to call the uh, Monday, June 5th, uh, 2017 committee meeting to order. Could we stand for the flag salute, please? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided pursuant to the New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law by posting a notice of this meeting on the bulletin board in the municipal building and by publication in the Press of Atlantic City on January 9th, 2017 and the Atlantic County Record on January 11th, 2017. Mr. Gishard. Present. Mrs. Link. <clears throat> Mr. Shanker. Here. Mr. Silva. Here. And Mayor Kurtz. Here. <clears throat> I'd like to have a moment of silence for a private reflection, and I'd like to mention the loss of uh, Dottie Kinsey, a lifetime resident of Hamilton Township, and also the founder and past president of our historical society. So we could take a moment of silence in her remembrance. Next, uh, we're going to have uh, my favorite thing. We're going to have a presentation, and I'm going to ask for uh, Lucy Pham if she could come up front. I'll be right down to meet you and your family. Lucy, turn around so you can face everybody. Come on over this side here. Great. Great, come on in close. I'd like to read this proclamation first, <clears throat> Mayor's Proclamation. Whereas uh, Lucy Pham is a resident of the Township of Hamilton and a senior at Oak Crest High School. And whereas Lucy Pham has achieved a high degree of success due to her hard work, including earning a cumulative GPA of 107.1. The Distinguished Varsity Scholarship Award, membership in the National Honor Society, the AP Scholar with Distinction Award through the College Board, Girls, State, and FBLA finalist, and the Oak Crest Distinguished Scholar Award. She was also a member of the Oak Crest Varsity Tennis Team, and she has been selected as valedictorian of the Oak Crest High School graduating class. Whereas the Comcast Leaders and Achievers in Scholarship Program recognizes high school seniors from Comcast communities for their commitment to community service, academics, and demonstrated leadership. And whereas in recognition of her outstanding success, Lucy Pham has been awarded a $1,000 scholarship from the Comcast Leaders Achievers Program. Now therefore, I, Mayor John Kurtz of the Township Committee of the Township of Hamilton, and the County of Atlantic, New Jersey on this day of June 5th, 2017 to hereby recognize Lucy Pham in her honor and her remarkable accomplishments. Her achievements are not only a credit to her hard work and dedication, but is a credit to the support she has received from her family and friends, teachers, and Oak Crest fellow students. I wish her success in her upcoming studies at the University of Pennsylvania and in your future endeavors. I'd like to present this Thank plaque you to you. So Great. That one, Charlie? Okay. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Thank Congratulations. You so much for me. Congratulations. Thank you, so much. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you again. Thank you for having me. <coughs> Uh, addition and deletion of late agenda items to be considered for tonight. So moved. Second. All in favor? <coughs> Aye. Aye. Uh, number, okay, number two, early public comment on agenda items, excluding items listed for public hearings. Mike? Executive session over there. Um, there's one comment that we have to make before that time, and that is that the item listed as 11A is going to be removed from the executive session so that anyone in the audience that was interested in that, um, it will not be discussed in executive session and there will be no action taken with respect to that. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bob. <coughs> one person to sign, <coughs> Bob Samia. Bob Samia? Bob, please. May I go over here? You can. First, I want to welcome Jane. Yep. Um, it's not really an agenda item, but since I am not only your solicitor, but I am a resident of this community and have been your solicitor for a long time, I felt that appropriate for me to say some words because I just learned that Brett Knoll will be leaving as our public work director. And I'm very saddened to hear that. Brett, I wish you the best of luck wherever you're going. Absolutely. And I want the Township Committee and I want the people of this community to know that I have worked with Brett on a regular basis on some very, very difficult issues. Not the least of which was the protection of the Lenape Dam and the Lenape Dam litigation mediation process. We crawled down into tubes together. We dealt with the voids on the Western Embankment that could have been catastrophe. The guy was a dedicated employee. He was a 24-7 guy. I had his cell phone. I'm <clears> sure the chief had his cell phone. And whenever you needed him, he was there. He is a tribute to the backbone of this government, of this community. Brad, I'm going to miss you. Um, you're a good man. It's been my pleasure to work with you. Uh, and I just wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Mike, did you have anyone else for a public comment? Okay. <clears throat> Uh, we're going to move on. Discussions, formal actions may be taking. We're having nothing under A. Uh, for public hearing, adoption of ordinances. Uh, a, ordinance number 1849-2017, an ordinance authorizing the sale of lots 36-9 in Block 280 as shown on the tax map of the Township of Hamilton and granting the owners or owners of the uh, real property contiguous to the same right of prior refusal to purchase such land in the township of the uh, County of Atlantic in the state of New Jersey. Uh, and this is a public hearing uh, on this item. Is there anyone in the public that would wish to comment on this item? Move to close the public portion. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Abstain. I move ordinance 1849-2017. Uh, Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? <coughs> yes. And we're going to move on to uh, number five, award of bids, contracts, and change orders. Re a, resolution authorizing the purchase of one trailer-mounted uh, crash attenuator from Axe Atlas Flasher and Supply Company under state contract number 8311. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gashard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. <laughs> Mayor Kurtz? Yes. Item B, resolution authorizing the purchase of one flashing message arrow board from Atlas Flasher and Supply Company under state contract 83111. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gashard? Yes. Mr. Schenker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. And Mayor Kurtz? Yes. C, resolution authorizing the purchase of a 2017 Ford F-150 4x4 from Winter Ford under state contract 88728. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? <coughs> yes. Mr. Schenker? <coughs> yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? Yes. Uh, D, resolution authorizing the condition uh, the continuation, I'm sorry, of a shared services agreement for dispatch services provided to Egg Harbor City Police Department, uh, June 4th, 2017 through June 3rd, 2020. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? Yes. Uh, consent agenda. Uh, I'm looking for a motion to approve Items uh, A through J. 
Before you do that, could I just ask one question, please? Certainly, on, on G. Uh, will we make sure that uh, one of the merchants on uh, Weymouth Road gets notified uh, to fail market there because he does open up for coffee and goodies in the morning? Just oh, that's so a good knows. point. Mike, could you make a note of that? All right. So it's only knows. two hours, but that is during his busy it's time. It's just a courtesy yeah. to the business. Okay. Good, good point, Roger. Thank you. I'll move the consent agenda. Second. We have a motion and a second <clears throat> on the consent agenda. All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Motion approved. Uh, number seven, personnel. Resolution appointing Steve Cummins as a lifeguard for the Cove 2017 season, June 16th through September 4th, 2017, <clears throat> at $10 an hour. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. And Mayor Kurtz? Yes. B, resolution appointing Steve Adair as information technician for the police department at a salary of $58,000, effective June 6, 2017. So moved. Second. second. Motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? Yes. A resolution appointing uh, Cindy <coughs> Gonzalez as part-time communication officers, officer for the police department at a rate of 1530 per hour. Appointment is contingent upon the successful completion of the background process. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? Yes. Uh, D, resolution appointing Marcia, Marcia Randall as a TACO 1 at $34,652.45 annually, effective date June 27, 2017. So moved. Second. second. Motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? Yes. E, accept the resignation of Zoning, Bone alternate, uh, Zoning, Zoning Board alternate member Michael Angelo, term expiring December 31st, 2017. So moved. Second. second. Motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? Yes. <clears throat> uh, F, authorization to advertise for a full-time police dispatcher. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? Yes. Uh, 7G. <laughs> uh, accept resignation of Zoning Board alternate member James Santilli, Jr., two year term expiring 12 31 18. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Jane? Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. And Mayor Kurtz? Yes. H, uh, resolution appointing regular zoning board member, a, a regular zoning board member to fill the unexpired term of Wayne Kane, term to expire 12-31-20. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Jane? You got a name? Yeah, okay. The, the, the person going in, the name will be Larry Mraz, M-R-O-Z. Okay. Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Schenker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. Mayor Kurtz? Yes. Uh, approvals. Uh, A, minutes of May 15th, 2017, regular meeting. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Abstain. B, minutes of May 15th, 2017, executive session. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Could we have a roll call, Jane? Mr. Gishard? <coughs> yes. Mr. Schenker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. And Mayor Kurtz? Yes. C, payrolls and bills. Bill list totaling $1,391,172.86. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. A roll call, Jane. Mr. Gishard? Yes. Mr. Schenker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. And Mayor Kurtz? Yes. Uh, reports. Administrator, Mike, I know there was something you had a Yes, Mayor, discuss. just one item. Um, I'd like, we received a resignation from a public works truck driver laborer, and I'm requesting authorization to post and advertise for that position. Okay. 
uh, committee, any discussion on this? No, but I approve it. Okay, we have a motion. Second. And we have a motion and a second to authorize our administrator to, to advertise. Thank you. Is that Mike, it? Mike, is that it? Yes, sir. Still getting a lot of phone calls about 142 Knightsbridge Way. How far along are we on that? You, you got a notion and a second, but I didn't hear a vote. Okay. To authorize the administrator. Yes, all in favor? Can we do We don't need to have a roll call, do we? No, no roll call. Yep, all in favor on that last one? I'm Aye. Sorry. Aye. Aye. Okay, against, abstain. Thank you. 142 Knightsbridge Way. Yeah, the title search for that one and two other properties have been completed. And I believe the July 17th, is it? There's a hearing scheduled with the property you know, maintenance. Property maintenance board. I'm not sure if that's the right date or not, but it's, yeah. it is. So then at that time, we'll be able to make a move on this thing? <clears throat> that's to identify the, the owner of the property, that they've got to do something about it? Gods, I'd like to bring it to an end. It's been years. It is that the been. only thing standing in the way of that is the uh, property maintenance That's decision? The, the next step in the process, yeah, then we send out the notices and all, so for that meeting. So it should be once they make a decision. Okay. Mike, uh, the other thing, the repairs to the hockey courts, uh, have you gotten any uh, response from the engineer as so uh, to a schedule? I'm supposed to get it tomorrow. I called him again today. So we can let him know, you know, if, please. Okay. Thank you. Mike, on the uh, grant uh, grant writer that uh, you're suggesting, um, I, I don't know what the value of the potential grant w would be. Uh, what do you what do you expect that to be? I see the grant uh, the price for the grant writer is about thirty two hundred. A little over a um, hundred thousand. It's six hundred and fifty roughly per department, and we have five departments. That's how they come up with that number. And there is no other competition for this? Uh, it's the only one I could find that has insurance, and I'm still getting yeah, that checked that's, out. Yeah, that's now. right. I had a question. Insurance, what's, what's, what's the insurance for? We have all, all of our vendors, our, our contractors, and professionals have to provide liability insurance and workers' comp. Even for grant writing, huh? Okay. Get a nasty Sorry. paper cut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, anything else, Mike? Nothing else. Nope. No. I ask our solicitor. Bob, you have anything? Yes, I have two quick things. One is today uh, I accompanied your assessor, Bill Johnson, and it was our Hamilton Township Day for the County Tax Board Appeals. Um, it went very smoothly. Bill was absolutely prepared. He has done a great job every year that we've gone there not just in front of the county board, but also in front of the tax court. Um, my observation is that most, if not all, of the assessments will be sustained, uh, and that's because of the good work Bill Johnson did. That so we're done. Good. Usually, you know, there have been years where we've had two or three days before the county board. Hmm. We had an hour session, it was a couple hours in the morning, and we had an afternoon session, it was a couple hours in the afternoon. Um, <clears throat> And the one that took the most time was a denial of a farmland assessment. So it didn't have to do with assessment value. The other thing I'd like to bring to your attention is that some time ago, uh, we had an ad hoc committee performed uh, meetings with respect to the liveries of the canoes and, and the boats and the tubes on the river. Um, that kind of got stalled with the announcement that the county was going to do some work yeah. to repair the scour problem on the bridge at the Weymouth Ironworks. Um, that took precedence. Mm. Um, that's still going to happen, but we're hopeful it's not going to happen until after Labor Day. Yeah, September, that's great. But I got notification this week from uh, the owner of Palace Pizza. They put out porta potties on certain locations along the river to eliminate people not using porta potties. <laughs> <laughs> um, they put signage out with respect to alcohol and noise, um, <clears throat> and they took our committee suggestion and numbered all the boats so that they can be identified. That's great. Um, so they, they followed the procedures, at least, it, that we put together so far. Whether or not it works, we don't know. Um, the other issue that we're looking at is um, zoning issues with respect to parking on the pike. Uh, Phil has authored a report with respect to that 
and the chief and I have been in contact concerning that. And that's all I have. Okay, thank you, Bob. Our engineer, <coughs> who I understand is our engineer, is uh, recuperating at home, or is that correct? Is everything okay? Um, everything is okay for now. He's got Good. some more testing. But I'm sure. Please give him our best. I will. Okay, thank you. He's not recuperating from the bike ride, I hope. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, right. Everything seems okay from that. When uh, will we be able to make a decision about when can we start striping Malaga Road? Um, we were discussing that earlier. I thought we were going to roll that in with the uh, road program. No? It's kind of a long time to wait. I mean, you know, uh, we passed this well over a year ago to lower the speed limit and stripe it. I thought we were going to do them simultaneously, lower the speed limit and stripe it all at once. So that, that people the, not only they drive slower, they don't pass on that road. That's the discussion now, I remember. Why are we going to wait for the road program? Don't we have money left over to take care of this, Mike? We're not, we're not waiting for the road program. I, okay. Kevin, Kevin knows. He's supposed to do it as soon as possible. Okay. And Can was, we as soon as possible? I mean, a lot of times, because I know people are still and when, passing when, on that road. And Yeah. The reason we moved on the speed limit is because we received notice that it was authorized to do it, and we didn't want to not post the slower speed limit in case somebody were to get it hurt we didn't want to have the approval and not post it right away. well what's going to happen you lower the speed limit without the double striping down people are going to pass oh, and they're man. going to get used to passing with a lower speed limit so until that road is, is double striped all the way up from one end to the other you're not going to have anybody paying attention to it so yeah, and it's hard also to enforce it without I agree stripe agree yeah. yeah so in the road program it looks like um that will be underway in the next uh, any time frame, month or so? When the get surveys out were completed, and now we're just going through uh, budgeting specifications. Once we get, uh, uh, you know, quotes for each road, we'll, we can determine uh, which order. Okay. It's a good time in. to go out to bid, you know? Yes. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, we have tax map uh, revisions that are ongoing. As we receive them, we complete them. Uh, we have a bunch of revisions that we've completed and have been submitted. Road openings, same idea. Um, as the gas company submits road openings and perform it, performs them, we do the inspections, reinspections as required. Uh, volunteer way, um, additional traffic controls were agreed by Benderson. And uh, other project inspections that are uh, ongoing right now are uh, Artist Walk, the Glen Eyre project, uh, Select Construction, which is Wex Wexford Lane, Fernmore Homes. Uh, we just completed the inspection on Order Harbor Road. We're meeting with him, with a contractor and uh, the developer that either later this week or beginning of next week to discuss uh, repairs in the road. Uh, it seems like they're moving fast. Maze Lane and Liquor Mart, it's uh, considerably, um, Right now, they're actively under construction. Uh, last week, I actually witnessed the uh, soil replacement in the basin. And uh, the last item is the enclave. Uh, right now, we're discussing a uh, fence around their basins. Uh, Malaga Road and Road Program, we already discussed. And the next project that's upcoming is uh, Conifer Realty. The oh, OK, House. yeah. Um, New, York break, New York Avenue. It? New York so, Avenue, yes. When did they do to break ground? Yeah. When, when do they do to, to... I'm going to have to ask Kevin that one. I haven't been... Uh, okay. Were um, there any, were there any improvements uh, they're responsible for to do on New York Avenue? I'm going to have to ask Kevin again. Yeah, I would, that. because I, with 100 homes or 100 units yeah. going in there, yeah, it's going it to create more, more of a tie-up than we've ever seen. There were some, uh, some discussions about a, uh, a, a lane, uh, an extra additional lane so they can pull into the uh, development on the, on the 40 side. And also there was some further discussion about the drainage basins because there already is a drainage uh, problem at that intersection on the right-hand side of the road coming north uh, New York Avenue a, a, in a real rainy time. Today I'm sure it's visible. And that was something we were going to really hold their feet to the fire on. So I want to make sure Kevin stays on top of that, if you wouldn't mind mentioning that. Okay. So, yeah. So they want an extra decel lane? On, What's that? They wanted an extra deceleration lane? Yeah, that's, that would be great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 
In the uh, road opening permits for the gas companies, do you have any idea where they're applying for? It says major road openings. Well, I, I do know that they've had, I've, I've personally inspected a couple. Uh, one was on Reliance Avenue by the firehouse. Okay. Um, the major road openings, uh, they're doing a main replacement in Laureldale. Uh, I don't have all the exact roads, but it's it's Laurel Street. Uh, I, I believe Columbia is another one. <coughs> okay. But there's going to be that's coming up in the next month or two. All right. Anything else? And that's it. Okay. Thank you. Please uh, again make sure to tell Kevin that uh, we're thinking of him. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Township committee members, I'm going to start. Uh, first, I want to reiterate on our solicitor's comments uh, uh, about Brett. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're, uh, what a great job Brett has done for our township and our community. And Brett, we want to thank you for that. We really do. Uh, we we want to thank you for everything. Uh, also, uh, this is on a happy note. It was great, with great pleasure that on behalf of the Township Committee that I was able to present the keys to a new fire truck to Chief Davenport at the Mizba Volunteer Fire Company uh, when it was delivered here at the Town Hall parking lot this past week. This new fire truck strengthens our commitment to our Volunteer Fire Department to always provide them with the tools, training, and equipment that's necessary for them to do their job. Uh, I thought it was a, a, a nice ceremony. Uh, it was a nice day. The sun came out. It was beautiful. Uh, also, a little something that was they brought a little humor to. The women at the fire department actually made a birth certificate for the fire truck. Uh, it says, on our new arrival, name Little Blue, weight 37,000 pounds, length 27 foot 10 inches, uh, birth time 1822. Birth location, Pierce Manufacturing Incorporated, Appleton, Wisconsin. Parents' names, Mizpah Station 18-2 in the Township of Hamilton. Siblings' names, Bertha Blue, the Blue Typhoon, and the Blue Beast. So I thought that was cute, and I congratulated the girls that made this up with a little quote on here from Simon Ashfeld that says, from small things, big things one day come. I thought it was a pretty neat little plaque yeah. to hang it in the office. But uh, uh, that was a real nice... Uh, Nice thing to present those keys to the chief. Uh, also, uh, we have a lot of things coming up in the uh, township in the next 10 days. I wanted to touch on a couple of them. Uh, first, uh, we have the Mays Landing Merchants Association hometown celebration. And fortunately, I see our vice president of the Merchants Association here tonight, Mike Colazzo. Mike, could you come up and share a little of that news with us, please? Good. Good evening, Michael. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we're really excited this year. It's, uh, it's going to be bigger and better. Uh, Fred Nebels and I are really committed to try to, we, we obviously lost um, Arlene, which, you know, she, we didn't realize how much she did. So uh, trying to fill those shoes, we've been recruiting. Uh, this year, we're going to do a parade of champions. Uh, we have a lot of great kids in this area, a lot of champions. Uh, uh, we just had one of our kids signed to the NFL. So we, we're going to make him the... Uh, uh, he's going to be the uh, the grand marshal of our of our event, and we're going to honor him. I think he should be. I mean, he signed with the Bengals, Cincinnati Bengals. I uh, played for Penn State. Uh, Brandon Bell. Uh, that's one of the things we're going to do. The other thing we're we're looking to do is take advantage. We're going to one day only, as you all heard. Uh, we want to make it bigger and better. You know. In coming years, we can add some fireworks or something to that. So um, that's my goal, personally. I think we can probably come up with the money if we make some big decisions this year. Uh, then we have Wine Festival, uh, which uh, you're going to see some big changes to that. We're looking to add uh, 20 wineries. Uh, is it 20, a total 20, John, do you remember? Is it yeah, 20? 20. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's, you know, just to put it in perspective, I think we had, uh, I think at our max, we had 12. So it, it's definitely going to be bigger. Uh, we're still partnering and working with Caesars to make that event more, uh, you know, just a little more sophisticated. Uh, but we're, we're expecting it to be bigger this year. Um, uh, our goal is to, I mean, we, we've seen, I think, up to 8,000 people. We'd like to see this event turn into a 15 to 20,000 people event. Um, and it's very doable. We're partnering with uh, a marketer from the area, which I don't know that I can talk a whole lot about that right now because it's not finalized. We have our meeting tomorrow night or Wednesday night. Um, but other than that, hometown's going to be big. Hopefully everyone will come out. Uh, hopefully we won't make the department work too hard. 
Uh, but I know <laughs> that uh, it, it should be a good event this year. So That's June the 30th, Michael. June 24th. 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 So we're just doing Saturday, and it's still at the park. Uh, one know, day, right? One day. Yeah. So. so thank you. Well, with regard to parking, uh, if we get a you know substantially increased crowd, what are our plans? Uh, I think we're still going to take advantage of the shuttles and the jitneys like we've done in the past. Right. Um, I did some research this weekend. That's what I'm calling it. I went to the LPGA, uh, and I got <laughs> some ideas from them. You know, they had Kia. Uh, you know, they, they, they shuttled people in, but they had P Kia that with the, with the uh, sales guys driving people in in their vans and their cars, which I think, you know, we have BMW and we also have Toyota that wants to get involved in our events. They have nice cars, <laughs> and I'm sure they'd like to, you know, shuttle people in and out. So in addition to the, the jitneys, which we've done in the past, using the college, using the parking lot here, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I'd like to incorporate something like that where we can, you know, get some of these dealerships and, and businesses uh, involved. You know, it shouldn't just be the, the you know, the, the same 10 businesses doing everything. There's a lot of businesses in this community that I think should be stepping up and doing more. So. Well, the crew racing, a lot of them too. They just, they used the, our parking lot and had a jitney there. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I mean, that's what we've done in the I past. I think that idea is great. I mean, as much as you like to go down to ACC, it takes so long to get down and back. Right. you got other parking lots in town. Yeah. So you know, we're, we're planning on doing it. I mean, we, you know, there, there is plenty of parking. The uh, only right. other thing, and, uh, and I think you mentioned it, right, John? There's going to be other events going on, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there are You're going to have a lot of people in town. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to touch on that, too, in a minute. Yeah. It should yeah. be a good event. So. But good. We wish you well. Thank Much you. Success. Thanks for your support. Really yeah. appreciate your support. Thank, Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to also real quick uh, touch on another big event that's happening uh, from June 23rd to the 30th. It's a South Jersey District 3 baseball tournament. But first I would like to just mention we have uh, the president of the uh, Mays Landing Athletic Association here tonight. And um, I would just like to say that this Saturday, after uh, Art and I attended the Cologne barbecue, I stopped by the uh, Underhood, Under, Underhill Park, and there was a crew of, uh, of MLAA members covered in silver paint from the kids. <laughs> they painted all the fencing. They painted the dugout backstops to keep the ball from going out, the, the roof chain link tops of those on both sides of the road. This was a work day for the MLAA, and I just want to say they did a great job of uh, getting that field uh, hopefully ready for this tournament. The township is backing that up with doing some final things to help them out getting that uh, thing finished. But uh, we're, we're really looking forward to this being an event that might also carry help out our hometown celebration. In between games, then people are looking for something to do. Maybe they'll go over to the hometown celebration so Mike can uh, Brian can get together on that. But I'm going to ask uh, Brian to come up and uh, as the president of the MLAA and kind of fill us in on the tournament. Uh, as far as the dates, yes, the 23rd, it's the 23rd through 30th. Um, we're, uh, weeknights, we're expecting probably anywhere from two to 500 uh, people. Um, on the weekends, we're actually going to expect probably close to 1,000 to 1,500 people. Uh, we have parking at the fields, as you know. We also are going to open up the parking uh, behind E Field, where we where they have softball currently, um, as long as the weather holds up and we don't have too many uh, wet spots back there. Um, they also know that they're going to be able to park at Shaner. We're actually going to get a map together and uh, get that to some of the coaches and the commissioners that are coming into town for the tournament. Um, it's going to be a big draw. I mean, we're excited about it. We're excited. How many teams do you anticipate uh, coming in? I got to look at my cheat sheet. It's all right. <laughs> um, let's see. 24 teams for the districts, ages 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12U. And then, uh, and then additionally, we have another tournament on the July 13th through the 20th, and that's for states. And our 9U team is automatically in the states, is going to be competing in the states. And at that point, we're going to have 20 teams. Um, so that's going to be another, another, uh, another nice draw right there. Um, this is the first time in a long time we've been able to, to host something like this. Um, we're excited, you know, MLA, we're, we're really excited about it. We've talked to some past members who have hosted this, hosted this previously years ago, and we're getting a lot of good ideas from them. Uh, we're looking forward to working with the township. The township's been awesome. Ingrid, I mean, it's been, it's been great. Um, getting a lot done and, uh, you know, painting the fields. There was more paint on the kids than there were the fence, but, uh, <laughs> but it, was, it, was, it, was, it was nice. It was nice. The kids were out there. They had a good time. 
Um, you know, you put a silver paint in kids' <laughs> hands and it's all over the place. But no, we, we, had, a, we had a good time out there. Uh, we had a lot, of sh a lot of people showed up. We still have to paint a few more, a few more fences. Um, we had some mulch dropped for another little project we're gonna do. And we're also gonna have some pea gravel dropped to kind of dress up the back area a little bit. So I, I think it's gonna look real nice when we get down there. We're just trying to make it, make it look nice and not be uh, you know, too crazy on everybody. We wish Great. you well. Great. Thank you. I Thank you. Thank you. Um, any other questions about the tournaments? No, I think no. you filled us in pretty good. Right, if you, you have any uh, mm -hmm. uh, flyers, uh, the businesses uptown would certainly put them in their windows for you. Absolutely. Uh, I'll see something Craig to do and I'll get it out tomorrow. Okay. Thanks a lot, Brian. Hey, Appreciate Mayor. it. And don't forget, too, in July, you got the triathlon. Uh, yes. Yes. How many people yeah. you expect to come out to that show? Registration is down this year. We usually get about 300. Yeah. And that draws a lot. Yeah. It's just the athletes plus the people that watch it's still a great event you guys have been doing that for such a long time that's fantastic looking forward to it and we have the sign-off sheets are going to be handed out the next meeting for our members <laughs> all right great thanks a lot that's good thank you great all right thank, thank you, you. Very much. thank you thank you uh committee members uh art uh i would just like to uh reiterate what what our solicitor said um uh, brett you know how i feel about the job you did you um you were definitely an asset here, and, and, and we're, uh, we're going to miss you. It's going to be hard to replace you. So uh, good luck to you wherever you on your, on your new Absolutely. job. Absolutely. And um, they're, uh, they're very lucky to have you. So uh, once again, uh, any time I picked up the phone, no matter what time of the day, uh, he got back to me and took care of the problems. And, and that's what is important, is that our public works is here to serve the public. So. Um, and Brett always kept that in the forefront. So I just wanted to say a few words and thank him. Uh, <clears throat> other than that, I think you pretty much touched on everything. So I'll uh, okay. I'll defer. <laughs> Roger. <coughs> Brett, I am going to miss you. I mean, the one thing I liked about you is many things, but you made a difference. Okay, you knew what to do and when to do it, and that was important. So uh, that's always hard to find in an individual. And uh, those type of qualities, uh, uh, I know where you're going. You'll, you'll do very well there. And uh, again, I don't think we fill anybody's shoes like yours. We'll have to have somebody that'll have to create their own footprint. So uh, I, I believe, and I think all of us feel the same. I'll have to just erase the 1139 out of my mind because, you know, I didn't even write that number down. It was just a number I could call and get you. So I want you to know we appreciated you. Um, the new Mitzpah fire truck. I've never seen more people more proud of a piece of equipment than I have in Mitzpah. Uh, in fact, we kidded them the day the truck was coming. We were going to hand out spray cans to everybody of red paint <laughs> because, you know, to see a blue fire truck, I mean, when you see yellow, you see blue. I think there's some fire trucks that are white. Uh, it's just, it's, it's not the color of the truck. It's the heart of the people that man those trucks. It's the work they do in protecting lives and property uh, that we can't uh, replace. So they're great individuals. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to talk about real, uh, was I had the occasion with many uh, members of committee, we attended the police award ceremony here. <clears throat> if any of you ever get an opportunity to Remember the date when they announced that they're going to give them Sydney audience. Absolutely. I mean, the work that our police uh, people do, the men and women in our police force, is just outstanding. From delivering babies to saving lives to all the other things that come up in the everyday work of a police enforcement officer. I mean, this is a big township, and a lot of things happen here. And uh, I can't tell you how proud I am of the police department, and I still feel Absolutely. very strong about it. I feel that we have one of the best police department in the county, so um, I'll ever be thankful for the fact the way they uh, keep our community safe. Thank you, Chief, and would you please relay that to all the members? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. That's it, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Roger. Rodney? Well, I think you've all just about covered everything, <laughs> but there are a couple of things. First of all, you know, I echo all your comments about Brett. Um, I, I really, all I can say is for the future, I think uh, we're going to look for great things for Brett. I'm sure we're going to hear about him uh, in the future. And uh, I think the town that's receiving you is, is getting great value. So I wish you the best. I've always appreciated your enthusiasm, your integrity, and uh, your professionalism. 
Um, yes, I attended the police awards day also, and every time I uh, take a look at the police statistics that are handed out, it's just it's just mind-boggling. You yes, can't think is. for a town of this size. Uh, what are there? Over 4,000 incidents, I believe, or somewhere in that order. Uh, I think there were 123 um, events associated with accidents. Uh, I mean, it just covers a whole range of things. I don't know where to get the time to cover them all, but it's impressive, and the award ceremony was impressive, and uh, that included saving lives. Uh, I mean, with... Uh, with uh, CPR, uh, included the dogs. I mean, it was it was very, very uh, excellent. We're proud of our police force. And please convey that to the folks. Um, uh, also, Memorial Day, I just want to say that that, that went, went very well. Uh, we had a, a, an excellent singer, and we had uh, a good, good attendance. Uh, uh, participation from several uh, organizations within the town, and, and uh, it, it went very well. And uh, of course, after the uh, ceremony, we uh, we had a gathering at the uh, veterans uh, in VFW, and that was uh, that was excellent. Also, um, I uh, participated in a legacy ride at Stockton. I don't know whether this is seventh, eighth, tenth, whatever it is, but this is this is a, what a 15, 30, and 62 mile ride uh, in memory of. Uh, a gentleman who died uh, many years ago, but the, the ride was uh, the hundred and I think it was 160 people that attended it, and it was a very good event. I don't know. I'm surprised Charlie wasn't there, <laughs> uh, or <laughs> or others from here. Uh, and I will say it covered a whole range of ages. In fact, the guy I was riding with <coughs> was really jubilant when he saw somebody that he thought was older than us. <laughs> so. Um, we had a green team meeting this week, and uh, as, uh, once again, you know, there's several um, uh, great activities associated with the green team, one of which was uh, cleaning up uh, the bulkhead this weekend, and I must have picked up, uh, I don't know, 500 cigarette butts, and we got to figure a better way of getting those, because I had to stoop down to get them all. <laughs> we need one of those picks. But we, uh, we have a garden that we're looking for people to participate in and, and numerous other activities. So I would encourage you, uh, it's the third Thursday of the month at uh, 6.30. Um, first. first Thursday of the month, sorry, thank you. Uh, at, at 6.30 and <coughs> welcome anybody else to attend. What's in your garden? <coughs> What's in my garden? The, uh, well, the garden is over at Davies. What and, are you planting? And uh, what, what did we plant last year? Yeah, that's that's right. It's not fixed. The produce does end up going over to the food pantry in St. Vincent's. Right. Yeah. But it's we've we've had some nice uh, nice. We'll be out there watering it during the summer. I don't know about that, but but we we hope to find somebody to do that. I hear you. I might be picking up cigarette butts. I don't know. (laughs) Um, I attended the uh, Citizens Advisory Committee meeting of the SJTPO, and uh, we had a great presentation uh, from two professionals. It had to deal with uh, traffic safety and accidents. And in fact, it's, it's of such a level that I would highly recommend it. I mean, there are many people in the township that can benefit it from the schools. Uh, I'm going to tell the schools about it, and I'll tell you about it, too. In fact, I think uh, it wouldn't be bad if we had a, a presentation here that covered the physics of accidents, that covered the, uh, some of the new safety systems that are in cars, they covered car seats, they covered uh, 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 the car seats for kids, and supposedly 80 to 90 percent of car seats, kids' car seats are, are not properly, um, not properly installed. That's hard to believe, but evidently that's true. Uh, but a lot of very interesting facts, and um, uh, it's open. They're they're eager to to talk to the to the public. So if anybody's interested in having a presentation from them, in fact, I'm going to talk to the uh, senior advisory committee about that. I'm also going to uh, go to my own National Active and Retired Federal Employees Association, and I would say anybody else who's interested in, in having a presentation, give me a call or give the SJTPO a call. It's, it's well worth it. Very good presentation. Uh, I attended Boys Barbecue over at, uh, over at Davies. This is once a year effort. Uh, it's for boys that have uh, uh, made some advancements, uh, and it's uh, several hours. They have uh, uh, leaders, uh, I guess, I think it was all male leaders from all aspects of society. Uh, one of the gentlemen there was a, uh, a Navy a SEAL trainer. And among the things he's done, he's fl- he swam around Manhattan three times. 
He swam the English Channel, and he's done a, a number of other things. Incredible. Well, this is the level of people that were there. Some, we had a, a Secret Service uh, guy there. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say unfortunately, at the table I was at, talking with the kids, I went around the table, maybe there were what, five kids, five or six kids. I asked them what they were, uh, what they were interested in doing. And you know, more than half of them wanted to be professional athletes. You know, that's wonderful, but I, I try to, to, to let the kids know that the likelihood of, of doing that uh, is, is, is slim. Uh, of course, the, uh, the school superintendent gave a, a, a half hour presentation uh, about never being discouraged and you can do anything you want. And after that presentation, it was kind of hard to say not to continue with your dream, but it makes you, it makes you worry a bit. That's about all I have, thank you. And by the way, you mentioned about the number of calls for service. Yeah, I know. Right. Year to date, right. yep. 21,793. Year to wow. date. Yep, it's amazing. That's impressive. Yes. Yeah, that is. That's huge. Thank you, Rodney. <coughs> uh, actually, uh, number 10, we're going to ask to open it up to public comment. Is there anyone in the public that would wish to speak? Move to close the public portion. We have a motion to close second. public portion. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain? Thank you. Uh, and we're 11. We're going to adjourn to executive session. Jane, could you read the uh, certificate and the agenda? Okay. Be it resolved by the Township Committee of the Township of Hamilton that this meeting be adjourned to an executive session to discuss the following matters, which are exempt from public discussion pursuant to the New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law. Personnel matter, Joseph Barish. Be it further resolved that the governing body may reconvene in public session and confirm the results of the executive session if there is a majority consensus for action to be taken on the matter tonight. Great. Thank you, Jane. And uh, adjourn to executive session. <clears throat> I got a motion to reconvene uh, approved. Mike, do you want to anything? What, what are we we're looking for? Just an agreement for uh, dismissal. Is that correct? Yeah. For termination? Yes. Uh, committee has the final and we've say. all read what's had to be done. Is there any comment from the committee members? No, it's just it's never easy to yeah. to do it, and it's Absolutely. always uh, a hard thing to do. But. Uh, uh, based on uh, what has transpired, I'll make the motion that uh, we terminate them. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. Do we need a roll call on this? Yeah, Jane. Mr. Gashard? Yes. Mr. Shanker? Yes. Mr. Silva? Yes. And Mayor Kurtz? Yes. That's it. That's it. We're adjourned.